Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Richard Reti and Peter Romanovsky. This game was played in Moscow in 1925. This lesson is all about endgame strategy, so let's jump to the position of our interest. This is the position. We have opposite color bishops on the board, and if there were no rooks, it would be probably a draw. Both players have a bad bishop, but bishops are out of the pawn chain, and they are active. It is why to move. What would be your plan of action if you had white pieces? Reti's plan was to play rook to c4, king to f3, e3, perhaps winning the pawn on c5, but if the black rook goes to c8, then bishop to d5, and later he wanted to switch his rook from the queen's side to the king's side. First move, rook to c4, king to f8, naturally black wants to centralize the king. King to f3, threatening e3, winning the pawn. Rook to c8, e3, bishop to c3, why to move? Surely Reti intended to play bishop to d5, but before playing that move, he wanted to make the pawn on a2, the backward pawn on a2, more happy. So, the backward pawn moved to a4. The pawn is now safer, the queen side is fixed. King to e7. Anpassan is not a good idea because of rook takes bishop. King to e7, bishop to d5, rook to c7, Rook to h4. White is standing better. h6. White has a plan now to push the pawns on the king side. King to e4. King to f6. Rook to h5. Rook to d7. It is white to move. Some players in this position prefer bishop to c4. Reti played g4 and now black fights back with g6 rook takes pawn king to g5 forking the rook and the pawn rook to h7 king to g4 white to move what would you do this is the critical moment if pawn takes pawn on g6 then Black plays f5. Check mate back to our game. How to avoid checkmate then? Well, white can play f6, but then he doesn't have a big advantage after king to g5. The other way to go was rook to g7. But Reti played none of these. He played a killer move. Please pause and find the killer move that Reti played in this position. What did you find? Are you ready to see the move? Reti played bishop to e6. Amazing imagination. A peace sacrifice in the endgame. Pawn takes bishop. F takes on g6, also defending the rook, rook to d8. Of course, if rook takes rook, then g takes on h7 and black king can't catch the pawn. Rook to d8. Rook takes on a7, creating another dangerous pass pawn. King to g5. The black dark squared bishop is indeed a bad bishop, even if he is out of the pawn chain. g7. King to h6, chasing the pawn. a5. King to h7, a6, rook to d6, h4, bishop to e1, too slow, h5, bishop to h4, white played a move and black resigned in this position after h6, player with the black pieces resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Rook to d8, rook to b7, if rook to a8, then rook to f7, 
And what now? If rook takes on h6, rook to f8. If king takes on h6, then rook to f8. And white wins. What a beautiful endgame. What do you think of this endgame? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.